everybody welcome back to my channel um sorry i've been so quiet i've just been so busy being a mum of two so uh, my son is now five months and my daughter is two and a half so life is crazy but um i just wanted to come on here and talk about just the craziness that went on a couple of months ago um so a lot of you will know me on here because I talk a lot about twitching and how ages ago I was completely convinced that I had ALS and that's kind of what started my health anxiety journey and yeah so basically um, a lot of you will know that I, I went through a really bad period of twitching and you know googled and you know what google says when it comes to twitching it's a terrifying place so got myself really really wound up this was about two years ago um and it took me a long time to convince myself that it was an als um it was it was a really tough time for me and um yeah i think basically time was the healer because about six months have gone by and i was still twitching but i hadn't developed any other like worrying symptoms or anything like that so I got to the point where I was like right Sherelle like you don't have ALS and I got over it and that's kind of why I decided to do all of these videos just because I know how terrifying that whole experience was so I can't even believe that this happened to me but after I had my son my health anxiety came back really really bad um, I st started tr uh, twitching again really badly but this time I had additional symptoms as well like well I say additional symptoms I don't actually think that they were real symptoms at all but they were perceived symptoms so um, I felt like I was dribbling quite a lot <laughs> so I would wake up in the morning and there would be quite a lot of dribble on my pillow and of course I was thinking of like bulbar onset and then I was really kind of focused on my speech and was freaking out because I was like slurring some words and just getting my words mixed up and then I was like convinced that my voice was changing um I felt really weak um gosh what else my twitching was like quite low like it was quite um I had quite a lot of hot spots as well so um I was getting a lot of twitches in my face and a lot on the left side of my body. So the the symptoms were, were a lot different than they were the first time two years ago. And I just literally just fell straight back into the rabbit hole. Like all of this work and research and all the stuff that I've done over the last couple of years just literally went out the window. Like I, I was back on all of the Facebook groups for the... Uh, the benign fasciculation syndrome groups and was looking for reassurance on there and if you're on there you may have seen me on there I was like really worried and was constantly posting and just yeah like all of the advice that I've ever given anybody else like it just all went out the window like just logic just was just gone um, and I think this happens with health anxiety is like you know we may get over our fear of whatever it is and then we're good and then something can just completely set us off and then everything that we've told ourselves and all of that healing work that we've done just goes and that's what happened with me um and I would say that it's only been for the last six weeks that I have like calmed myself down I'm like right sure, come on you don't have ALS like dude like seriously um and yeah so now I'm feeling just normal again well i say normal i'm worried about other things but i mean in regards to the als now i know that i don't have it um but again it just took me a lot to like get my claw myself out of the hole and like was just reading all the time and like just and then i was just like you know because i didn't have any any weakness um any weakness at all but i was like kept looking at my body for like signs of atrophy I was looking at like my uh, I was looking like at my hand a lot and I don't know if you can see but like around by here can you see that those lines there I was freaking out over those and let me show you the other ones I don't know if you can no hang on this is really awkward to do with one hand but basically 
uh, I was like contorting my hand and, and you know, trying to look at these little, uh, I wouldn't even call them dents, I think it's just, just, just normal. Um, but I was really focused on those all the time. Um, and then like my twitches were just very different as well. I was getting like just these internal kind of like tremors. I was getting twitches that just felt like rapid fire twitches. I was getting like big thumpers. Like it, it just was very intense in comparison to the first time. So of course I, in my head I'm like this is different. This is not what I've experienced before. Like something is is different and not right. And yeah, I just can't believe now in hindsight that I just went back to square one and like everything like I was even I was even re-watching my own videos like that's kind of how intense it was getting um and I'm really glad now to say that I feel that I've I've clawed myself back out of that hole again and like you know I you know I'm still twitching but I'm I'm not focused on them at all anymore like I was I was so alert that every twitch I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god whereas like now I just twitch and I just I just ignore it because I know that it's not ALS so I just feel like I don't need to worry and I know that when I get stressed and after I've had it like pregnancy is clearly like a massive trigger for me in terms of like my anxiety and my my just my general mental health kind of issues anyway so it's no surprise that I started twitching after having my son um because I had a breakdown after having him so of course all of that stress and adrenaline that had accumulated in my system just had to find its way out and it did in regards to the twitching so yeah i um i just want you to know that i think people see me on here and they think that you know i'm this kind of person that has cured their anxiety and i've got it all together but i really don't like i you know i'm still very much learning myself and trying to manage my own anxiety and you know it's a it's a process but i i'm glad to kind of be on the mend i suppose um but yeah it was just i can't believe that i just just the the sheer logic just went out the window i was so illogical and um you know i was speaking to people about it and they were like you know you really need to watch your own videos back and I did and that's, that's just crazy isn't it, it's crazy to think that like I had to watch my own videos back to reassure myself that it wasn't that but um, yeah I think and do you know what it is as well, it's just like ALS is just such a horrible disease and nobody wants it so you know if we get any kind of symptoms that we think you know could be attributed to it we, we freak out you know um, and even though we know we, we we know the logic we know that 99 percent of the time weakness is going to come before twitching we know that it's not really widespread twitching we know that you know most people with als are going to be like oh my god i can't believe i forgot that so one of the main things as well that was absolutely freaking me out this time is i kept dropping things oh my goodness i was just do you know what actually I'm gonna do a separate video on this because I feel like this deserves more attention because of how bad it was so I'll make a separate video to tell you how bad I was with dropping things um, but yeah anyways I'm blabbering on now but yeah I just wanted to come on here and just kind of just be honest with you guys and just tell you where my head's been at the last couple of months which is why I've been so quiet on here really because I just felt like I couldn't really come on here and, and give anybody advice when I was, you know, in the corner, like hysterical myself. So, yeah, anyways, um, uh, feel free to subscribe, um, comment below. Um, my inbox at the moment on Instagram, there it says 99 plus messages, um, and I'm having a real hard time like responding to people just purely because of the fact I, I had two, two, two babies and you know I'm, I don't have any time at all in the day to check my phone and then by the time I go to bed I have a bath and then I'm absolutely shattered so I will try my very best to get through those messages but um, just please 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 be patient with me like I'm not being ignorant I'm not being rude like I'm not trying to be insensitive or horrible it's just um, I'm a mum so um, yeah just just bear with me but anyways um i will see you guys on my next video bye